So in this video, we are going to um, do a couple of exercises about the topic of limits and let's look at the current problem. Um, you see, we are doing the limits uh, when x approaching uh, 3 for the function x squared plus 3x plus 3. And uh, based on my previous video, um, of course you can do it by approximation, but actually uh, doing it by approximation actually um, takes too much time sometimes. And the simplest way usually as a first step, as a first step. It's always that we directly replace x equals 3 into the function. Do we directly replace? So we are doing 9 plus 6 plus 3, which is 18. And um, because it is a polynomial, for polynomial is fine. So for polynomial uh, is usually OK. So we'll try to add more explanation about it later. But for now, uh, we'll just take it for granted for for easy examples, we can directly replace x by 3 to the function to get the answer 18. And of course, you can do it in the long way. You can do approximation like what we did in the last two videos. But uh, let's drop it now. When we are able to have a shortcut, so it's like a shortcut, we'll just do it quick. That's it. And for simple functions, it can be done this way. I would like to emphasize for simple functions. Same thing again. You can actually replace um, the value of x in. So uh, we get this. So uh, it really means that the limit problem, the answer is going to be 5. So uh, if the function is simple, you can really easily get the answer. So um, there's no problem about that. But uh, let's look at some other uh, methods to get the answer. So uh, let's look at some other methods. So please recall that the basic principle of the topic of limit is that you can always get the answer by using approximations. And in the last two videos, uh, we actually covered this topic by quoting two examples about that. But uh, let us take a look at this problem again. Uh, it appeared in the last video already. If you have a problem like this. And uh, please recall that uh, last video, we did it this way. Uh, we can actually did it by approximation and in case you forget what's the meaning of approximation it's kind of like you have to choose points uh, that get close to two uh, gradually and you do the uh, function calculation for this and moreover you have to be careful because there are two different ways to approach two and the right hand part you have to choose values bigger than two So I can do it like this. So, um, and we got the answer in the last video. We got the answer, but let's see what's happening. If you do it by the first step, you know, so uh, if you replace x by two, you see what you get is that it is zero over zero. And I would like to emphasize, this one is an item we call it undetermined. We will have more specific, specific way to attack such problem uh, a little bit later when you learn more advanced um, calculus. But for now, we will stick with some uh, high school methods you have learned. You see, now the problem is like this. If we do it by approximation, we actually get the answer um, as video. Uh, we actually make a good guess. Uh, it's actually approaching 4, but we can do it another way, alternatively. Sometimes you can solve it by high school algebra because the fact is like this x squared minus 4 divided by x minus 2 by some high school algebra. Uh, we can factorize the numerator to make it look like a product of x minus 2 times x plus 2 divided by x minus 2. And of course, uh, for those of us uh, who are very familiar with high school cancellation, we can cancel the fact of x minus 2 like this. So this function is really the same as x plus 2. If we just cancel x minus 2, so uh, it gives us a hint that it looks like we can do some um, calculation like this first. So after the cancellation, we actually get the answer easily, right? I mean, I'm just pulling it down here. And um, now if I replace x by 2, there's no problem at all if I replace x by 2 because it's going to be 4. And the answer 4 is actually the same as the answer you get in the uh, last video. And um, let's look at one more example to make you feel good about this approach. 
So let's look at another example now. Let's say I take the limit x equal x uh, x approaching three uh, for for this one. So please look at this. Um, as I mentioned earlier in this video, we can actually replace x by three to see what's happening. If I replace x by three, we'll do this calculation now. And act, unfortunately, uh, it belongs to the case of uh, zero over zero, which is undetermined. It's really unfortunate. Undetermined means you don't know the answer for now. Please don't think that the answer is zero. It can be zero after using some appropriate methods for this problem, but it doesn't have to be. Um, all values can be possible uh, for an undetermined case. And uh, for now, um, to use other methods, of course, you can do it by approximations. Uh, it doesn't matter. You can try it out. But uh, let's do it by some high school algebra. I mean, if you look at this limit problem now, you can actually factorize the bottom. I hope you know how to do this. The bottom is uh, x minus 3 times x plus 1 as a factorization. And now you see, we can actually cancel out these uh, factors. So it means I'm doing a limit x goes to 3 for 1 over x plus 1. And now let's replace x by 3 to see what's happening. Now you're getting 1 over 4. So it means that uh, the answer to this limit problem is actually 1 over 4. So uh, that's the end of this video. Uh, in the next couple of videos, we'll see more examples.